Hey guys, it's Mike, WordPress How To's. Now, WordPress is fairly secure right out of the box, but with it, like with anything, there are ways around, you know, the, the 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 continual battle with these guys, the hackers, and they find their ways around and they can get into your site pretty much if they really want to, they can get into your site, but there are ways that we can we can do things that we can do, simple steps we can take that can make your site just a little bit more secure and a little harder for those guys to get into and perhaps they'll just give up and go on to easier prey so to speak. So security tip number 1A is starting with the install and the premise behind this first tip is just this do not use admin as your admin username. A lot of scripts that you can use uh, by default use name your admin user as admin and there are millions of sites out there with admin as their username now with the, the, a lot of those hackers they have all these uh, uh, software that can just just mass attack different sites so they they if your site is admin user is admin they're just one step closer so we don't want that so uh, I use HostGator hosting and I install host uh, WordPress with quick install now you can also use Fantastico Deluxe and you have the choice when you're when you're naming your admin user to to name it whatever you want. So just don't use admin, and you'll be uh, just a little bit. Your site will will be just a little bit more secure. But what if your site's already your admin user is already named admin? Well, there's an easy way around that. I'll just show you really quick. Okay, so I purposely named this admin on this test site of mine the WP administrator as admin but there's a way we can uh, get rid of this guy real easy first you're just gonna add uh, somebody uh, a new admin user just name it whatever you want I'm just using my first name which I probably don't recommend either but um, this is just a test uh, video so just don't uh, name it admin or your first name <laughs> Then you want to put in your password twice. And make sure to change the role to administrator. I'm going to have the password sent to my email just for the heck of it. And click add new user. Okay, now we've got two admin administrator usernames, two administrator users. What we're going to do now is you just log out of the admin user and we're going to log back in with the new admin user. And then we'll go back to the users tab and then un admin we're just going to delete that one. And then we're going to attribute all posts to the new admin user. Confirm deletion. And there we go. We don't have admin as our administrator username anymore. So that's a security tip number one. Thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and rate, and keep on keeping on.